Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another video. And um, as you can tell, my car is sanded all the way down. I painted the car blue. If I remember, um, I will insert a picture in the video. And you watch it, you'll be seeing the, the picture right now. But the whole car was blue. Um, well, originally it was primer when I bought it, if you've seen previous video, as you can tell, some of the primer. And then um, I spray painted it blue with, I don't know if I can see a can, I don't know if I can find a can of the paint that I used. But it was like duple like color uh, paint, like the, the brand was duple like color and it was like metallic blue. And um, it was kind of an expensive paint and for it to come out shitty, I brought all my friends over. Oh, this is bad. This is a different um, bottle, but it's the same brand dupe like color. And this is just a random bottle that I have laying around. But, um, shit. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, so I painted it metallic blue. And here, actually, a top. Fuck, I have to take a piss so bad. Well, this is fucking dirty. But some shit like that. And this color is wearing off. Anyway, so I, I was that's, that was my goal to paint it that color, and I brought my friends over, and I told I told them to help me because I'm not really a good painter, and my friends they take collation and fucking, and not, like body work and they go to college for that shit so they're really good. They won, one of my friends won like second place in state, and um, so I told them to help me, but the thing that I have the paint was. I bought 11 cans. For this being a small car, it shouldn't really take 11 cans. But that paint, like you needed a lot, like at least 30 cans to paint the whole car probably. And for it to come out good, or at least decent, uh, because 11 cans wasn't enough. But um, I, painted this whole, uh, I painted this whole car, and then like two days later, I looked like shit, and I hated it as soon as we finished painting it. I hated it, then I washed it like a couple hours after I painted it, and then it had watermarks everywhere because the paint didn't dry. And so I left it there like, like that for two weeks, a week or two. And um, I fucking, I was talking to my friend, and he works at a body shop, and he's hooking me up with a paint job. I'm just paying for all the materials, all the paint, plastic, tape. And then of course I'm gonna pay him because it's, he's gonna work after hours. He talks to his boss, his boss is really cool, and then he's letting him use the shop um, after hours. And so, but I'm paying my friend. Uh, not much since I don't have much right now, but I'm gonna see how much he wants. So, um, he told me that he was gonna do it, and I told him I would give him some money, because um, that's rude of me if I don't give him any money. He, he's gonna be um, using his personal time that he could be actually working, or you know, spend, spending time with the friends or whatever. But he's gonna help me so i don't know how much i'm gonna give him i really don't have much money i spent i had like 2500 dollars saved up and then i bought this thing and i've been putting money in it and then i'd be spending a lot of money in garbage and fucking i'm horrible with money so i spend a lot of money in random shit oh and uh i also got this new nrg um quick release hub and steering wheel for a super good deal you know the guy is brand new he never used it but i guess he didn't want to put it in his car so I bought it from him for super cheap. I had, like in total it would have been like, oh shit. Uh, it would have been like $350 brand new or like more. And I got it like for almost half of that. So that was a good deal. Anyway, so, I, they, um, so I'm, I'm paying my friend for it. And so I'm just paying for all the materials. He's gonna do all the work. And so I have to take it in hopefully this week because because we're painting it next week, so I have to take it this week, so I can primer the whole car and then I can sand it down again. Because as you can tell, uh, it doesn't match. I thought it was bundle, but I guess not. Like it's magnetic, so I don't fucking know. But anyways, um, I know it has some bundle like on the bottom, fucking rusted out. But anyways, um, so since it has a different level of paint, we have to primer it and sand the whole thing down again. And hopefully um, next week, he said next weekend, the shop is going to be closed. So that's when we're going to be um, painting it. And but all these black um, marks are 
on bare metal. So, and then the boss gave me, boss kind enough gave me a can of primer, uh, spray uh, primer, and he told me to just put it over the rust, the bare metal part so it won't get rusty. So I missed the spot here and there. Um, anyways, I got interrupted again, but um, fuck, I forgot what I was saying. But um, yeah, I'm just paying for the materials and so all the bare metal is all covered up so we have to get everything to the same um level of paint and then after that we can do you know primary and um paint it and clear coat it so i'm just waiting it's wednesday my may 17th and um hopefully it's on by the end of the month and well if you guys want to Sorry for this long ass talk, but anyways, uh, this uh, this top leaks, and I was I was gonna buy a new top, not new, new to me. This guy was selling a top, and fucking asshole. Um, I, well, we had a deal. We were talking, and he was selling selling it to me for seventy dollars, um, because it had a broken plastic. It didn't have a, uh, it wasn't um glass, it was plastic, and this was ripped right here, and he said that he would replace it for me for twenty dollars so I was gonna give ninety pick it up and then you know a couple days later uh, we agreed I meet on Sunday and then he said oh that's cool so we were about to meet and then um, I'll wake up at test and I'll be like yo I just woke up I'm about to head out and uh, he didn't he never replied back he didn't send me the address or nothing so he was fucking an asshole and then today that was like last week and today um, I I saw a post on the on Craigslist, and he's selling another top, and fucking, I told him, I messaged him again, I'm like, dude, I'm still, I still interested in the top, let me know, and he's selling the other one for 180, so I offered him some money, and, uh, but he didn't even look at the message or nothing, so it was a complete stone bag, but anyway, so it leaks from the window, and then on the top, I put on, um, like, flexible ceiling, I seal for like um, ceilings and cracks and shit that water gets in it. Um, so I sprayed I sprayed that over here because it was full of um, holes, and I sprayed it over the top. Like the center didn't really care because it's, uh, the center is good only the edges, and then it was leaking from the door. So um, if you close the door, you can see that this closes um closes the gap, and then. Um, I just bought this weather stripping from Walmart. It was like four dollars, and it looks really ugly. I'm just gonna spray paint it black so you can barely tell, so you can barely see it. But um, I also have this 3M weather um, strip gasket adhesive, and I that's all the black uh, thing marks because um, it didn't see all the way, and I just to make sure that the weather strip actually doesn't um, leak. So I added more of these on the top, and it's all around. Then the same with um, the other side. So that's a good um, DIY if you are low on money and can't really afford a top at the moment. So you can do that. As you can tell, there might be some water coming in there. So I might add some more adhesive. But um, I'll cover the whole thing and then fucking spray paint in black. Whatever. I guess I'm not going to be able to take the top down. But it's fine. It doesn't really bother me for... Uh, Meanwhile, but um, this is a really long fucking clip without seeing the carpet in there already. But I'm gonna, you know, keep recording over the days. Uh, when we're never with primary, I'll be back and hopefully uh, it turns out good. I'm painting it the same color, which is gonna be blue, but it's not gonna be metallic blue because it will be like really, like way more expensive. Like I'm paying $420 just for the paint. And like all, oh, like he showed me all the pictures, um, all the prices. The boss was really cool, and he's not charging me nothing, only what he pays for the paint. And it's only four hundred twenty dollars for the paint, which is not really a bad deal. It's a lot of money for me, but uh, it's really not a bad deal because um, I, I called other places; they were charging me twelve hundred dollars just to paint the whole car. And here, the guys. I mean, even though I'm not paying for labor, but it's four hundred twenty dollars. It's a great deal. Plus, I'm giving my friend money on the top. Which is gonna be like a hundred dollars or you know, however I can afford. I have to see how much money I have by the time that I paint the car. And he's really not asking me for money, but I told him I'm gonna give him money. And so this is pretty good, and this is my bike. 
here, which has so much overspray from when we painted it. Like, it's fucking nasty. The whole garage is, has overspray because we painted the car in here. Any guy, anyways, guys, um, I should be back in a second um, whenever the next clip happens and I get the car primered. So I'll see you in a second. Yo, what's up guys? So I'm back and finally got my car today from the body shop. It's Tuesday. I don't remember what day was when I um, filmed the last clip. I believe it was like Sunday or Saturday. But um, I really like how it looks only with uh, the primer. It looks pretty good. Pretty fucking decent. So it looks pretty good um, just with the primer. And so it's Tuesday. Tuesday, May 23rd, and on Friday, I believe, Friday night or Saturday, I know it's getting painted on Saturday morning, so my friend told me to take it to the shop, and make sure it's closed, and uh, he's going to paint it, and then send Sunday morning, can pick it up, and hopefully go to the meet, I'm going to the meet, um, oh, like an hour away from me, so hopefully it's all good on Sunday, and I can take it to the meet. And hopefully I get my coilovers tomorrow or the next day. So I can lower it a little bit more. I mean, lower it because it's too high. It's like a fucking... Oh shit, I keep burping. It's like a damn monster truck. Look at this. So much space. But then I need new tires. I was just drifting to the end of these tires. Coming my way home. I spun now on the fucking... On the stoplight. So I think that there was no cars and I would have would hit all of them. So, um... It's pretty decent. I'll be back on Saturday whenever I get back from the shop. Yo, what's up, guys? So, um, follow up on the car. I just got it back from the shop today, a couple hours ago. And I came home and I put the wheels on. And this is a whole new, different car now. Um, I thought the wheels were going to rub, but they actually have like quite like an inch and a half of gap. And the back is fucking horrible. So much gap. But, um, it looks so much better. I plastic dipped the handles and I have the mirrors that I have to put them on. I have to go get some 3M tape because I'm using aftermarket mirrors and uh, they won't fit here. So that's why I have these holes because I had them up front, but I don't like how they look up front. So I regret making holes in the car. But um, the car looks so fucking good. Like <laughs> it's a whole new car. I still have to do some, some things. I have to buff out the lights because they got scratched from when I was sending it. So I have to buff them out. And um, uh, like the trims, probably paint them or something. And then here, uh, pure sonar, I don't know. I mean, not pure sonar, but whatever, like over time, it's got rusty and uh, all the, the plastic that it had on it came out. So I'm painting that. Here's some little things I have to put my front plate on because my neighbor is a cop and he told me to put my front plate on because he don't want us to get pulled over. He told us anything to my brother, uh, which is over there. And, um, he, well, I don't know, but the car fucking looks so good. I was looking it up on the Miata pages and everyone said it was gonna rub because they are 15 times eight um, plus a positive 20 upset, offset. But uh, if it's perfect and the car looks fucking perfect and I don't know, I'm, I'm in love with the car now. You see it has a like massive gap, so much gap. But uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, stay updated for more future videos and see you in the next one.